In this lecture, I want to talk to you about um, Google Optimize and setting up an A-B test to improve conversion rate on a client's landing page. Google Optimize is really great. It's really free, which is what makes it partially what makes it really great. But it actually just a really good software that 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 is a gold mine when you find things that will increase your conversion rate because that will increase your profits quite a bit without having to spend any more money on the advertising or marketing. My idea basically is to test a longer and shorter version of this page. Um, typically, long pages work better, and we've seen that by and large in, in a lot of accounts. Um, but I have reason to believe, or I get a sense that because people coming to this page are are very urgent, like they have, there's a great sense of urgency. These are people who really need, need these products very bad, badly, um, and they very price conscious. So they conscious, so they want to see the prices very quickly. So the basic idea here is, if you fill out this form and you get to see a price list, um, that's how it works. Um, and once you fill out the form, you see a price list, and uh, you become a lead in the system, and their salespeople call you back. And we have a lot of content here on this page. Uh, the question is, like, should we shorten it and um, maybe not have as much to scroll through on mobile and whatever, and like f sort of focus attention with some very focused copy on a shorter version of the page? Maybe that will increase conversion rate um, because a lot of these people, a lot of them are, el are elderly, and maybe they'll get overwhelmed by looking at such a long page, um, and it might take some attention away from from the call to action. So it's a little bit counterintuitive because long form copy usually works better, but this is what I want to test. So I'm in Google Optimize. You go to optimize.google.com, sign up. If you haven't made an account, go make an account. Um, I You create these different containers, and I have this one for this client. And over here under the Experiences section, you can see a bunch of their previous experiences. So I'm going to create a new experience, and the first thing I'm going to have to do is name it. So I'm going to name it um, LPT Short Versus Long just to give me a sense of what this is all about. Um, I have the landing page URL in there, and I'm going to choose A-B test. There's a few different types of tests um, you could run, but I'm just going to be running an A-B test. Um, and I'm going to click Create. A-B test, the idea is just to test two different variants against each other. And there's a few things we have to do before we can launch the actual experiment. Um, we have to create the variant, and we have to track objectives or conversions. Uh, so I'm going to click Add Variant. And I'm going to say Variant 1 is short version, because this is going to be easy. I'm just going to knock out a bunch of sections on this page. OK, so I have original version, and I have the short version with zero changes because I haven't made any changes yet. And I'm going to do a 50% weight. I'm going to do 50-50. So 50% 50 of the traffic will see the original version, and 50% of the traffic will see the um, short version of the page. And I'm going to edit. And I, I should have this extension installed, but OK, I don't. maybe I deleted it. So we're going to add to Chrome. You have to add this extension. Um, and it should redirect me. I go back here, and I click Edit Now. And now it brings me into this Google Optimize page editor where I can start playing around with things. I could change the size of a logo. I could change the logo entirely. I could take out full, I could take out all this stuff, right? I could take out whatever I want. So what I want to do is basically start knocking some stuff out. So I want to knock out this container. So we're going to edit it, and we're going to remove it. And um, let's see, we're going to leave this testimonial. We can leave the testimonial. Um, I'm going to knock out this, and I'm going to knock out this whole thing at the bottom. And we have our footer, which is good. We have some FAQs. We have some reviews. Um, we have a testimonial. We have some more. So maybe I'll. This is like a big one. Um, should I knock out? Let's say. Let's maybe knock out this big one. OK, so now it's a much shorter version of the page. Um, I'm going to keep, maybe I'll knock out this top piece as well. All right, uh, copy is the same, form is the same. Um, phone number, FAQs are good. Um, all right. Now, I don't want to make too much change. I don't want to make too many other changes to the copy. I want to sort of like just test this one versus the other. Um, and I think that that's going to be pretty good. So we're going to go and click Save. Update URLs because there's an extra forward slash in there. OK, no big deal. Done. And now we have our short version versus our long version. So we've done, we've done the, the editing. 
So the URL matches this landing page. We're going to be audience targeting as all the visitors. So I could customize this and, and only target people coming from Google ads or even coming from specific campaigns or only on mobile or only coming from certain locations. Um, you know, there's, there's, I could even target the optimization of the page based on the search term. So I'm not going to like mess with any of that stuff right now. It, it's in most cases, it's not like, if you're, if you're not a big company and, and getting massive amounts of traffic where there's really good grounds to specifically test different versions for specific people, this is a pretty straightforward campaign. Um, I just want to see which landing page works better. So I'm going to leave everything as is. Um, I could also, interesting, like target new versus returning visitors um, and only sh show variants to them and, and whatever. But like, okay, we're going to leave it as it's no big deal. Um, and I could just, I could write a description. So like you could say, um, we want to test a shorter version of the page to see if that increases conversion rate. All right, you don't have to write a description, but if you do, great. And we're going to add an objective. So over here, an objective is just a conversion. Like what? Well, what should Google Optimize look for to see what worked better? You have to have your Google Analytics account linked, um, which we do. We do have that linked. And I'm going to add an experiment objective. Um, choose from a list. If you don't have objectives um, already in place, then you could just create that in Google Analytics, and it'll automatically be over here. So we're going to go to landing page conversion. That's going to be the objective we, we want to optimize for. Um, optimization, inst optimize installation. Everything should be, but we could run diagnost diagnostics to see if it's if it's not for some reason, but should be installed okay. All right, anti-flicker snippet. That's not a big deal. Um, there's like this Google Optimize will give you this anti-flicker snip snippet code, and I have, I've added it to the header of the landing page here um, for this client. But some, it just sort of it's 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 a piece of JavaScript that 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 aims to prevent a potential flicker if there's a slow page load speed for the, the website so they don't see like the, ver the original version of the content quickly flash out. Um, that's not usually an issue, so um, that's okay. I don't need any email notifications. 100% um, traffic allocation. So I'm splitting 50% and 50% of the traffic with 100% of the traffic. Um, and that's something I almost always lead. Um, and this experience should be triggered on page load. And if you edit it, you could choose some other different um, events, like a custom event if there's a specific button click that triggers the experience or whatever. Um, and in nine times out of 10, or, or I've never done anything else but page load for that. And now we have everything in place. Like all, we're all check marked up. We could start this experiment. Um, and we could also schedule the experiment to start and end, which I'm not gonna do because I'm gonna continue to check up on this until we have statistically valid results. And we're going to start. And now we've started the event, which is great. And once we have some data in here, we can go into the reporting and we could see like what's happening, wh which version is getting more, um, getting more conversions. And just to see, there's not obviously nothing in the reporting over there, but if we go and look at um, something, some other test we did under reporting, we could see like um, all the different, uh, different results from the test. So in this test, no clear leader was found in the two different ones we used, and you could see the original, um, and we had a content heavy workflow form, which was um, a slightly slightly longer version of the page. Um, and this was this was when the page was actually written and designed completely differently. Um, it wasn't statistically significant enough to indicate which one would be better. And that's what's really cool about Google, Google Optimize too. It, it does all the statistical modeling and the statistical probability for you. So you don't have to know your p-values. Um, Google will tell you when there's, a when there's enough of a statistical confidence level or statistically confident level um, where one of your versions is clearly gonna be the ongoing winner versus the other version. Um, so that's pretty, that's pretty cool. So that's creating that experience. So like, you know, later today, I'm gonna come back just to double check to make sure that this is working um, and, and that the results are coming in and the conversions are being tracked properly and all that stuff. Um, and Google is also showing me now already that we've had one visitor or one active visitor on each variant of the page because we have active campaigns running. And also if I go into an incognito tab and I go to the page itself, um, I might, you know, sometimes this works. Oh, here we go. So I, I got it. I actually just got the short version of the page, um, which is great. It just shows me that it's working. Um, and there was no issue with flickering or whatever it is. And we're going to see, we're going to see which one conver increases conversion rate. The, the next big things you should be testing are headlines. They don't bother with your time testing little color changes and things like that. 
copy typically makes the biggest impact. Um, and, the, and the reason why I'm not testing copy now is because we just finished a whole round of copy testing and we found that this copy works better. Um, so, but the next thing, let's say I find that the shorter version works worse or whatever. So then I'm gonna be like, okay, we'll go back to our longer version. Maybe I'll test a much longer version, but I'll probably go back and test copy again. See if I could maybe make this copy simpler or maybe make it more urgent um, or find things that I could say that will get people that will optimize for this content here. That's the idea. So anyway, that's Google Optimize. I highly suggest you use it. Google Optimize is really great. It's really free, which is what makes it, partially what makes it really great, but it actually just really good software that 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 is a gold mine when you find things that will increase your conversion rate because that will increase your profits quite a bit without having to spend any more money on the advertising or marketing. So that's that for now. I hope you enjoy it. Um, let me know your comments and your feedback, and I will see you guys in the very next lecture.